Hi. If you're out there, give me a thumbs up. If you swipe down, you should be able to type something. I'm doing my broadcast tonight from my house. I just got back from the gym. And boy, training at 6 o'clock on a Monday is very, very hard to do. So, um, hopefully I have a few listeners out there. Um, I've got a lot of questions. What you can do for me right now um, is scroll up and share this broadcast with your friends. So, share this with your friends because I'm going to be talking about uh, detoxing, things like that. A lot of people have asked me questions about it today. And so, I'm just going to touch on the subject just a little bit um to dispel some of the misconceptions that are with detoxing and tell you exactly what you need to do so if you are following me you need to share this with your friends on twitter um i forgot if i did that or not um, let's see here so share this add it go up and share this with your um twitter friends things like that so that I can get some people to start following me and then they can get the information that you're going to get. So um, if you're out there, give me a heart. So just tap on your screen and that way you can give me some hearts. So I think I have two people on with me right now. Yes, another heart. Do it again. Do it a few times. And that way, like not just one time, you got to tap, tap, tap. There you go. So the more hearts I get, the reason why I'm asking you to do that, the more hearts I get, is that it actually boosts me the, to the top in the Periscope world so that more people will know about my broadcast and can tune in so they can get some good information. So hopefully that you can, um, so that you can share this with your friends. Just go up, scroll up, scroll down, and you can see a button that says share with friends. So just share with your friends. Um, tonight, I want to go over detoxing. So got a lot of questions about this today I don't know what's going on today maybe it's because it's hot or um, maybe there was a rough weekend people were asking me a lot about what they can do to de detox and so one of the questions I got today was about charcoal pills and that's something that's been around for a little while um, but I think it's really coming up in the market right now is um, is using charcoal pills to detox so um, you can find these online. Uh, I think they sell them at some supplement stores, um, but there are these pills that are, are called active charcoal. Um, so what they claim is that these charcoal pills um, help to detoxify your body by binding toxins that are in your bloodstream um, or in your body if you ingest the pills they bind your toxins and that is true in some cases um, they is used normally in the hospital set setting so hi everyone if you join it and joining me now I'm talking about detoxing and talking about specifically charcoal pills that are out on the market right now so what I was saying is that um, share this with your friends so that they know this information that way if you hear about it you can say hey I know this figure girl uh, named Mara she's on Periscope and she actually talked about this very recently so um hello out there so give me some hearts if you want to learn a little bit more about charcoal pills so what you do is you just tap on your phone and you tap 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 and then you can see hearts come up and that'll help me good thank you so much so I see some pink hearts I want to see some green hearts I have a blue heart so keep tapping so that people can start joining the broadcast very good keep tapping tapping all the way through so I really want to get my heart counts up today y'all so um that people will learn more about me so so if you're not or you're not used to the Periscope app, um, the hearts really help out broadcast. So even if you're not broadcasting yourself, but you're listening to broadcasts, give us um, who are putting ourselves out there some hearts. That way, um, people can go back and review this broadcast later, and um, it'll boost me to like the top of the broadcast world in Periscope. So. Anyway, so going back to what I was talking about and talking about charcoal pills. So detoxification, charcoal pills are on the market. Um, you can get them from supplement stores. Um, you can get them offline. I've saw a few different brands of them. And what they say is that they can bind um, toxins in your body. Do they work? In some cases, I would say yes. 
this is going to be in drug overdose cases or poison that has just been injected and so in a hospital setting they will admit a carbon um, it's made out of wood um, coal um, even coconut bark can make charcoal so um, uh, the, the, when the toxins go in your body it has to be um, the toxins have to still be in your stomach so they cannot be absorbed through the um, small intestine so it is a timing mechanism so yes yeah, charcoal really does sound dangerous like when I was researching it hold on one second y'all have to wipe off my camera <laughs> sorry about that so um, when I was researching, I was thinking, really, um, do you really want to ingest charcoal? It's not that um, you can't ingest it, because you certainly can. Your body will take in um, charcoal. But then what happens to it after? It still has to flow through your digestive. That's happening. So Periscope is very new, so sometimes it will cut out. So hopefully I'm back and you can hear me. So I'm going to just review really, really quick, um, because I lost a little bit of connection. So charcoal pills, do they work? Um, they're supposed to help with weight loss. I can tell you right now, that is not gonna happen. It's not gonna help with weight loss. If you want to lose weight, um, thank you, so now I'm back. All right, if you want to lose weight, you have to burn more calories that you take in. So you either re reduce on your diet or you exercise more, okay? And you eat healthier. So um, these charcoal pills will not help you lose weight. Will it help you detox your body? Yes and no, it depends on the situation. If you are suffering from a drug overdose, they may administer charcoal pills to bind the toxins from that drug overdose um, or, um, or uh, it's also used in um, medication overdose. It will bind, the, but only in the stomach. If those drugs have moved into the small intestine, it will not work. So um, what does it not help you do? It doesn't also, it, it, it's claimed that it will help you get over alcohol, um, like you're hungover. It's supposed to help with that. That's not true. Um, alcohol will not bind to the charcoal. Um, it also will not help with other um, toxins such as cyanide poisoning. So it, there are some risks with taking these pills, um, vomiting, diarrhea, diarrhea, black stool, um, things like that that you would probably expect from ingesting charcoal can happen um, but it's just a binding substance that's all it is so it doesn't really really help with um, toxicity so keep that in mind if you're thinking about trying this um, I wouldn't recommend it like I said it's used in a hospital setting but not so much anything else so if you're still with me give me a couple more hearts and I'll tell you exactly how you can detox your uh, your body in healthy ways so more hearts more hearts give me a few more hearts I think I need to see some pink ones there too so all right so should you detox how sh how should you know do you should do you know how you should detox things like that I get that question daily like should I detox detox I would say yes um I'll talk to you about what you can do to cut fat real fast at the end, at the end. So um, should you detox? I would say you should detox once a year. Most people do that um, once a year. Um, is this something you can get at GNC? If you're talking about the charcoal p um, pills, I think you can get them from any supplement store. I have never seen them. I would think that they're going to be in the natural herbal section. Um, um, detox and cleansing. Uh, they kind of go back and forth with those words so you'll hear cleansing and detox those are kind of synonymous um, right now in the fitness industry um, I would say cleansing would be a better word to use than detoxing so when someone says you know I need to detox I always ask them the what's toxic in your body so um, most of the time your body cleanses itself through the liver and through the kidneys so that's how your body naturally cleanses the bloodstream is through the liver and through the kidneys but if you have toxins in your body I'm gonna ask you what are you doing because you have to get those toxins in your body through some way um, so an extreme case of toxification happened with our 9-11 um, firefighters they were exposed to toxicities from the buildings from the old buildings and they were exposed to toxins and that got in their body and 
what happened after that is that they were out and they would start sweating and their sweat would be neon green or yellow and things like that and we knew that we had a problem so they actually have to go through what's called detoxification some of the ways that they're doing that is through infrared saunas um, other other detox methods um, that are pulling those toxins out and they probably have medical treatments for those um, for those 9-11 um, firefighters and it's a very sad situation um, to be in so most of my clients are not in that in that category of I need to detox so I'll say you might need to cleanse your body instead so that's how I use the two terms so I would say you should try to cleanse your body once a year and it's not really it's really not that hard so give me a thumbs up if you want to hear um, how you can cleanse your body I'll have step one for you so give me a few hearts or a thumbs up if you're out there so um, I need like some pink some green and some blue hearts I think you're out there so give me that um, because when you think about cleansing your body it's really all about rest and react relaxation so there are some blue hearts I saw those um, good job so since so the blue hearts want to know and I got a thumbs up good so we will all want to know how we can um, detox our body step one is elimination okay so what do we need to eliminate for most of my clients if you are adding toxins in your body it's coming through what you're smoking <laughs> hate to say that so if you smoke cigarettes or you, if you do things that are tobacco where there are toxins in those um, things that you're ingesting you need to just stop that and your body will naturally detox and remove those toxins out um, cut back on alcohol so you need to go a time where you're not drinking alcohol me I, I love my white wine I love my red wines I love my beers things like that so I do enjoy those things but when I'm competing for a show I don't have any of that in my diet you also want to take a cut back on coffee caffeine is in there and that is a um, stimulant so you want to kind of like move back uh, off that and then foods Foods can be toxic in your body. So refined sugars, saturated fats also act as toxins, not that they are drugs or um, chemical elements that are toxic. Um, tea, you probably want to cut back a little bit on your tea. I would say green tea is the best tea to have, but you probably want to take a time off when you're not drinking anything. And this is going to lead into my third or, or my second point of how to detox your body. But so if you're eating foods that are high processed foods, things like that, those can act as toxins in your body. And we already know that because we feel bad when we eat those foods. So what can you ingest? Start drinking water. Water will move waste products through your body out fast. It's the number one detoxification method. It's just to drink water. For centuries, tribes, our early ancestors that's how they detox they go heavy on the water so if when you urinate and you see your your urine in the, in the toilet if it's dark colored it means that you have a lot going on in your body you want to start to move those impurities out of your body and that's by drinking more water okay so do you want to know what my next method of detoxific detoxification is give me a few hearts if you're out there and give me a thumbs up if you really really want to know this is the next one has nothing to do with what you eat so Give me a few hearts. Help me boost my, my post setting here. Thank you. Whoever is the blue heart is definitely rolling with me tonight. Okay, so household cleaners. Try to find natural based high, uh, household cleaners. That is another way that you can prevent impurities of coming in your body. I used to sell for a company called Melaleuca. Um, you can look them up online and find a res representative near you. They have a lot of natural house cold cleaners, things like that. Um, yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Tasha, on the blue hearts. Hey, thank you so much. So household cleaners, really be careful with them when you're using them because that's where impurities can get in your body. So I would say um, stay away from those. So my fourth secret for um, detoxing is, I'm just going to give it to you without the hearts, is rest and relaxation. Okay. When you're going through a detoxing process, you want to reduce your stress levels because when you get stressed out, 
there's a hormone that's released in your body called cortisol and that can cause all types of problems you need it when you're in a really stressful situation like you're running from a bear because it's going to induce your flight or flight since uh, flight or fight um parasympathetic uh, response to anything that's stressing you out but if you stay stressed out for a very long time and that cortisol builds up and cortisol builds up it's gonna act like a toxin in your body so relax do yoga do hot yoga go to the gym and exercise and sweat it out and that's really gonna help you so um, now now that we got some of the things that we eliminate from our um, body like alcohol cigarettes caffeine and we remove all of those harsh chemicals that we use to clean our house and then we remove the stress from our life let's talk about what we can put in our body to detox so if you're ready for that give me a thumbs up Tasha give me a thumbs up so that I know that I'm not just talking to my phone right now and feeling kind of dumb so if you're ready all right the streaming work this steaming work to help detox yes so like i was talking about on um, the 9 11 um, firefighters yes steaming does help to detoxify your body so um there is a really new method i haven't tried it i hope to find a place that does it but i'm not sure if it's going to be expensive but there's a new um thank you for the thumbs up i'll get to you in a minute so um there is new infrared saunas and I don't think that they get hot, but they help to detoxify the body, they bring out impurities underneath the skin. So I'm actually looking into that um, as a therapy for myself, um, just because I just want to try it out. So um, this is the same mechanism that we learned that our bodies actually give off light. This is the same mechanism reversed on us so that we're taking in a t type of light and it's interacting with our body. But that science gets a little bit deep and I'm not going to talk about it on this broadcast, um, but I will talk about it later. So yes, steaming will hurt and then I'm going to teach you some quick little methods at the end of this. So um, what can we put in? Uh, yes, we do give off light. Yes, if you put the human body under um, an infrared imaging um uh, system you can see that we actually give off light so um, very very cool science um, but I'm not going to get into that today so um, what can we put into our bodies to help detox number one if your diet does not have fiber in it you need to add it to it uh, add to it so see you later have the fun at the gym um, add fiber to it add fresh fruits uh, and veggies to help move things along. Um, the second um, one is to add, you can try this for, for a week, I would say. There are certain types of, um, there are certain types of herbs that you can take to help detoxify your body. Your body. The first two are diuretics and they're very natural. They will not cause you to drop water real fast, okay? They're just natural diuretics. They work very minimum. Um, that's dandelion root and burdock root, okay? You can get those from a supplement store. Um, milk thistle helps to cleanse the liver. So if you take in milk thistle um, as a supplement, and on the bottle, it'll tell you how to take it. Um, I think you take milk thistle twice a day. Bur burdock root, you can take twice a day. And dandelion, you can take three times a day. Um, that will help to cleanse your um, your system and move things along and also green tea so someone who asked me if tea was okay to drink yes green tea is actually excellent to drink it will also help stimulate fat release and you can um, um, you can uh, you can lose a little bit of weight um, what do I know about Garcina, not not much. Um, it doesn't really come into my um. Oh, cam, kombucha, like the tea, the kombucha tea. That's really good. It's got a couple of other different herbs in it, and we actually have a restaurant here that sells it. And um, and I haven't tried it. I don't see how it's going to work in my diet. But I have tried the dandelion root and the burdock root. I use that um, uh, the Astrek pill. Oh, okay. 
Um, I have not tried that in my diet yet. I would say the most two effective are going to be the dandelion root and the burdock root and milk thistle. Milk thistle is actually found in a lot of fat burners, so it helps to like remove fat from the liver. So I would say stick with those and then try to add green tea. Um, but I'll look into that too. So um, the next tip is to to ingest a little bit more vitamin C. So when you're looking at the cleansing kits that are out there, there are some that are out there, they're really gonna boost up vitamin C. Be careful with that because you're actually um, gonna go over your daily limit for vitamin C. So if you're eating other fruits or juices, you don't wanna eat those or take those in while you're doing the detoxification uh, because you don't wanna go over your um, daily limit of vitamin C because it can damage, it can cause some liver damage. Not much, like not right away, but if you're doing a lot of cleansing, um, again, I will only recommend once a year, but if you're doing multiple cleanses, that can come back to kind of hurt you later, okay? And drink more of water. So, um, the last thing I'm gonna talk about are my quick tips for detoxification. So if you're ready for that, give me a few more hearts and then I'll let you go for the night. Don't forget to share this broadcast with your friends so that they can go back and replay and watch this and get the information that you got. Thank you. So um, one thing that I do to help kind of relax my body and move things along. So your lymphatic system works with your muscles, okay? Um, like our heart circulates our blood, it's a pump right so thank you so much so our heart circulates our blood it pumps but our lymphatic system is another type of system that circulates like our white blood cells things that make us healthy lymphatic fluid that actually does not have a pump but every time you move your muscles the lymphatic system moves along with it okay so you have to make sure that you're relaxed and you're stretched out um, exercise helps the more you move the more your circulatory system works um, and then at the end of the night I do my own hydrotherapy so how do I do that um, when I'm this is usually coming at the end of my shower because I make sure that I cleanse my body of dirt of, from the gym first and then at the end of my shower I spend five minutes I'll turn the temperature of the water up okay until I can like barely can't stand it because I do like my shower is hot um, so I'll turn the water up for five minutes and I'll stand in the shower and let the shower water flow down my back and then I'll turn it down to cold water and this is the part I hate and I'll do 30 seconds underneath that and then I'll go back to hot and I'll go to cold and I usually do that for three cycles hot cold hot cold hot cold okay and then the last cold is when I get out of the shower, it's brought my body temperature down and then I go to bed, okay? So that is one way that you can help move your lymphatic system along is by doing a hydrotherapy. So that's my wrap on detoxification. There's a lots of things out there, but my two, number, two rules about detoxification is identify the toxin first, okay? If you have not ingested cigarettes or overdose on drugs, things like that, you don't need to go to a harsh method such as charcoal pills. Second of all, make sure you know um, how your body works. Make sure you, that you do it like once a year. Make sure you relax and kind of do it on the natural way. It's not that hard to detox your body. So you don't have to do any insane method. Do the simplest things first. Start with eliminating all the stuff that is bad because your body will naturally cleanse itself and then add in more healthiness. So um, I will follow you Millionaire Lex on Twitter and Periscope. Follow me back and i hope you all have a great day i'll be posting uh, i'll be doing a posting i'm so used to saying posting i'll be t uh, periscoping this weekend from um laurel maryland where i have two competitors getting ready to get on stage that i've trained them for their show so this is going to be a busy week for me i'm really excited i have a bikini competitor um her superhero name is khaleesi yeah um tasha's gonna be on stage on the on the fifth i'm super excited so um all right uh, so millionaire lex hopefully you'll see you there and it's gonna be an awesome week so everybody stay out there stay in motion and be healthy see you later